Yeah, there is. Holy shit. Where were you hiding? Yeah, you definitely want to run as soon as you hear a, um, a house alarm going off. You can always just go somewhere else close by and try and come back later. But I do believe that one is going to be pretty darn um, covered by zombies now. Already got a sort. Oh, some nails and some strawberry seeds. Good stuff. I'm back. Oh. Yeah. I think we'll uh, keep on moving. Oh shit, I didn't realise I was this um, far into uh, the main road. Literally further south is, um, you've got the police station, you've got a, a motel, and a good few other buildings down there as well. If anything, really, we want to be going east, not south. Have to be careful around here, because that's where all these zombies just moved from. Yeah, that's where some of them got to, look. I think others managed to get down and over the fence. He all by himself. There's another one there, but... I'll say I can take this one out. Oh, what? What? Thought there was another one around us there. Yep, yeah, that's what I do love about the house alarms. Um, the fact that they really can open up new areas for you to loot, which you wouldn't have been able to otherwise because of the horde of zombies standing around. Yeah, we've got some of the uh, town sh shops here. <laughs> Couldn't get me words out. All you need buff here. Yeah, I wish. A few more Zeds around here. See if we can draw them one at a time. Shit. I do have something to eat actually. No, I'm not going to be able to deal with them. I'm too tired. This is what I didn't actually, there was not much point really was there? Holy shit. It's a pile of crepe. <laughs> nice little pancake house there. Um, actually, yeah, I'm not even going to bother running south anymore because it's going to be zombies all the way. Um, I haven't really kind of done much today. It's been a bit of a waste of a day by the look of it. So I'm going to run this way and head back north. Just start heading back to the farm with what I have got. Call the deer right off and start fresh again tomorrow. Rain stopped eventually anyways.
yeah, I've been out in the rain for quite a while. There's a good chance I'm going to end up getting a cold. Um, bugger it. Oh, wait there. Does that, did that actually say dangerous uncooked? No, peas aren't dangerous uncooked. So, we'll have some frozen peas. Probably not frozen anymore. Hi, pony. And I think we've got far enough, we'll cut back to the east. Yeah, I think we'll cut east um, around here somewhere. This will do. No bother, Dan. Come on, there we are. Back through. Actually, that was spot on. Yeah, there's a good chance I'm going to end up with a cold from being in the rain. back safe once again or as safe as you can be for being this close to town I've dried off now eventually anyways so there's no point in wasting a bath towel Yeah, so we didn't really pick up hardly anything at all there. But I didn't want to stay out too much longer because, I mean, it's already 6 o'clock and I've just got back in the house. Oh, we've got building materials. The rest in the wardrobe in the sitting room. Cool, and I'm actually going to read Carpentry for Beginners. It's going to take a little while to do, but it's only 20 to 7. 10 to 7. You can see it's uh, filling up quite slowly there, but that should give us a, um, a good perk boost for carpentry skills. Yeah, I was honestly the same with the sewer, I was well observer. Um, I didn't really want to use it because, again, I mean, I just wanted everything through Steam, but the sewer is absolutely brilliant. There's some absolutely awesome indie games on there, um, which can't really be found anywhere else or are very hard to find anywhere else other than the sewer. There's not too much I can really talk about in the plans of multiplayer at the moment. Um, 
apart from obviously we want to get the single player experience properly nailed down um, there is already co-op multiplayer in the game obviously there will be full multiplayer eventually uh, basically we're thinking of it more or less starting off out or being a minecraft style server so you will host your own server on your pc and get full control of who can join um, but we eventually if we can want it to be a bit more of a DayZ style um, where you can basically rent a server and post your own map on that server which you can make open for anybody to join or again whitelist it um, and eventually we want it to, so maybe you're in a group of people hosting servers so you're hosting this whole map here that we have at the moment um, but maybe your friend or one of your friends is hosting a completely different part of a map um, say to the west of this map um, and then when they cross the border they are literally like moving from your server to their server and um, meaning you have control of anything that happens in this part of the world and your friend would have control over anything that could possibly happen in the other part of the world um, obviously even in multiplayer as well the um, NPCs, NPCs will be running around both in groups and in um, by themselves so you know you could be running around the world and come across a group of people and at first you're not going to know possibly whether it's a group of NPCs, a group of real players or a mixture of both and um, so you're, you are going to want to like sneak around and follow them for a bit to try and gather as much information as possible I'm actually getting quite hungry let's go back down for a quick bite to eat before we go to bed Bit of bread, grab one, eat that. Good stuff, off to sleep now. Yeah, Observer, I know what you're saying, which is basically why um, the hoster of the server um, will have everything he needs in his possession to ban people who are cheating and everything like that. You know, obviously with the game being highly moddable, um, it could well be quite easy for people to make certain dupes um, and stuff like that, you know, to help them cheat. But, you know, to a certain extent, there's only so much us as the developers can do since we want the game to be as moddable as possible. Um, but you guys, as the server owners, um, obviously would have final say on who you'd ban, etc. But that book, I'm pretty sure, should have given me a, a nice big permanent bonus to me carpentry skills. There you are, look. the first time I've managed to read a book actually so I'm not sure what's going on I'm not I think it's possibly a boost as I start doing carpentry stuff it gives you an extra boost while doing it but I'll tell you what let's remove the curtains from there grab the hammer grab some single nails Grab these three planks of wood. Probably overburden us, will it? It makes you get 10 times XP for that level. There you are. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of carpentry, carpentry here on the window, barricade. Be able to do it again. I think. I don't want to walk to barricade, there we are. Yeah, the front window is a really weak location, which is why I wanted to get it barricaded up as soon as possible. <laughs> 